Hello class, thank you for finding this video. Um, we're, today is another Z story. This one's about being a teen. But before I start reading, I wanna make sure you're focused and can listen well. So let's first take five deep breaths together. Ready? one, biggest one. Five. All right. So this story is about being a team. So let's think about what is something that you like to do with friends rather than by yourself? Because when, when you're with a team, you're not by yourself. A team is with other people. So what's something you like to do with other people? And when you play together with others, what are some things that you do to make sure that you are working as a team. All right, think about that. What are some things you do to make sure you're working as a team? So in this story, the kids help Z learn that, is it imp that it's important to cooperate and work as a team. That means that everyone listens to each other, shares, and helps one another. As you listen to the story, Pay attention to times the children and Z are not cooperating, so they're not working together. And think about what they could do to work as a team. One day, Z, Gabriel, and Annie spent the afternoon doodling and coloring. Z was drawing pictures of different things from Z's planet, such as gribbles and zorkles. I wonder what gribbles and zorkles are. Let's see if we can see in the picture. Huh, I don't know. After a while, Gabriel asked the others if they wanted to play with something new. Z watched curiously as the kids brought out a box full of small, colorful shapes. What are those? asked Z. Those are blocks explained Annie. We use them to build things like houses and towers. Do you want to build something together? Z bounced up and down excitedly. Yes, we could build a Xanderloo tower like the ones on my planet. What do you think a Xanderloo tower is? We don't have those here. Okay, said the kids. How do we build one? But Z was already zooming around the room, gathering up big armfuls of blocks. Zip, zoom, zip, zoom. Z built the Xanderloo Tower taller and taller. Huh, so is Z working as a team right now? No, Z is working alone. Wait, Z, said Annie. We don't know how to help. But Z was too busy stacking the blocks and didn't answer. How do you think Annie's feeling? Annie tried again. Can we put some <laughs> Can we put some blocks on the side, Z? But Z kept building the tower. The kids looked at each other and did not know what to say. What do you think they're feeling? Maybe left out, maybe sad. All finished, Z shouted proudly, stepping back to admire the tall stack of blocks. I made a Xanderloo tower. That's a cool tower, said Gabriel, but we wanted to build something together. Yeah, said Annie, that really wasn't very much fun for us or very fair. Whoops, Z. Z didn't understand how to cooperate and work as a team. What would you tell Z to do? I'll give you 10 more seconds to think about that. What would you tell Z to do?
maybe I would tell Z that next time Z should have thought about what everybody wanted to do instead of doing everything alone. Z looked around the room and realized that the kids were right. Z had taken almost all the blocks and built the tower alone. How do you think Z's feeling now? Maybe sad. I'm sorry that you didn't get to build it too, said Z sadly. Gabriel smiled. It's okay, Z. We know that you were just really excited and forgot to cooperate. What does that mean? asked Z. Cooperating means that everyone listens to each other and works together. If we all want to build something together, we need to work like a team. Yes, said Z. Let's be a team. First, the kids and Z decided what to build together next. Gabriel thought it would be fun to make a train station, and Annie suggested that they build a zoo. But then Z told the kids about the Zoobaloo Towers and on Z's planet. After listening to everyone's ideas, they all decided it would be a lot of fun to build a huge Zoobaloo Tower together. Z and the kids worked as a team to build the Zoobaloo Tower. Sometimes they had to help each other with things they couldn't do by themselves. By cooperating, all the friends were able to work on the tower and they made one that was bigger and better than the first one. Look how huge that tower is. So since they worked as a team, they were able to make a bigger tower than Z could make by Z's self. Z grinned and said, I like this tower the best because we built it together. And Annie and Gabriel agreed. Z says, you can say it with me, whenever we're together, my friends help me discover how children on earth get along with each other. Z wants you to remember that it is important to cooperate when you play and work together as a team. All right. So now on Class Dojo, you can submit either a drawing of something you learned or a drawing with labels of something you learned or a sentence with something you learned. So right now I'm going to try to draw that my sentence is going to be, I didn't write it yet, I'm going to write I, I can C A N. I can hmm, work, I'm going to write, I can work in a team, just like all of the kids did with Z. I can work, work is W-O-R-K. I can work in, I, N, A, which is just A, and I'm putting Two finger spaces between all of my words, because that's how we write our sentences. And last up, team. T-E-A-M. And is my sentence done now? No. In order to finish a sentence, you have to put punctuation. So in this case, a period. So I'm going to write a period. I can work in a team, and I want to draw. So I think I'm going to draw the page where... They're all working together to build the really, really big tower. But that looks a little difficult. So let me see how I can do this. So they had a huge tower made up of blocks. So these are my blocks. Can't really show you while I'm doing it. All right, that's my tower. And now I'm gonna try to draw all of the kids on top of each other. Hmm, that seems a little hard. Okay, that's the first kid. How do they stand? Okay. <laughs> okay. She's on top of him. And now Z.
Okay, and Z has really big eyes. Oh my gosh. And the little Z on, on Z's head. All right. So this is my drawing. You can choose which part you want to draw from the story to show me something that you learned. So you don't have to write what I learned. I learned I can work in a team. But if you learn that too, then you can write it. Just anything that you learned from this story. And I'll be happy to see that on Class Dojo. Thank you very much for your hard work and listening to this story. I'll be excited to see your work. Bye class.